What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here, and today I'm going to be fulfilling another one of your Halo exploration requests after I posted a video about what it looked like outside of the Pillar of Autumn on the mission The Maw. I still had another request, and they said, no, you're not quite done yet, Tyrant. We want to see what's on the outside of the Longsword Hangar Bay. And so today, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So, uh, to make this happen, I went ahead and did a few different things. I turned on wall running, I turned off fall damage, and I also sp sped up my crouch walk as well, because we do have to do this kind of quick because there is a timer here. So when you get to the end, all you have to do is go to the side of the area. And essentially what we're trying to do is miss the trigger that ends the game. So when you get here, you have to go as quickly as you can, try not to get stuck on anything, uh, and get to the ledge that actually allows you to climb up into the hangar. And once you're there, you're free to explore beyond the longsword itself. Now, if you go outside the hangar bay, it's pretty much just a drop off. There's not really a lot here. Uh, if you try to back up, it's kind of like the other sec sections of the Pillar of Autumn on this mission, where it's just a small section of the ship. It does not show you the full Pillar of Autumn, but like with the other sections of the ship, with these mods turned on, you can walk on the walls, you can walk on the ceiling. Uh, you can go kind of far out, but you want to be somewhat careful because, again, you are on a timer here. And so if you do want to end up finishing the mission, you're going to have to get back inside rather quickly. This is why I turned off fall damage, of course, uh, so that uh, I could actually explore down here some. But this is actually more, one of the more confined areas of all the outside areas that we've explored in this mission. So there's really not a lot here. But if you go back inside, you can explore all around the longsword itself. You can even explore inside the longsword, sort of. It's not a solid object. It's just a piece of scenery, nothing more. So if you try to walk inside of it, you're just going to end up walking through it. If you want to go ahead and finish the mission, again, all you have to do is go back to the trigger point, and we've got literally seconds left, so we're going to go ahead and finish this. But there you have it. That's exactly what's outside the hangar, and uh, that's that's what the uh, longsword looks like up close as well. So you got a little bit of a bonus there. But what did you guys think of it? What were you expecting to see outside the hangar bay? Were you expecting to see Flood? Were you expecting to see that elite that's hugging Sergeant Johnson and the legendary ending? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, and please let me know what you would like to see me explore further in the Halo universe. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, or please feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythicTyrant.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.